Eaten image at Tokwemia e Honameta, the Anta Partmaton, and for Tat Hlein. And I'm a biologist for Cowichan tribes. Being a biologist for me doesn't really come from the title. What's guided me and really facilitated uh, me in my career, I've been doing this for 25 years now, it's that background, the opportunity to grow up with elders that shared their teachings really led me on the path that I'm on now and I couldn't do the work that I do without having a sense of the teachings. The estuary work and looking at kind of the long-term sustainability or health of the estuary, if you know salmon uh, and salmon life cycles, you know how high priority the estuary is. The work that we've been doing, partnering with BC Conservation Foundation, Fisheries and Oceans, and, and many, many others, um, has really helped to highlight the complexity and the values in the estuary. We're on a multi-year project uh, collecting tons and tons of data, um, working with Nature Trust. Basically, we go out once or twice a month, and so we collect samples both in stream, in river, and in the estuary, and in the marine waters. A big part of what we do is, is just kind of collect background info and, and trying to track changes. There's a, a strong realization that we need some solid background data on water quality, more specifically on what's happening with changes. We know that temperatures, you know, last year we were seeing fatal temperatures for Chinook. Um, that's completely unheard of in the Cowichan River. Um, we're collecting data on smolt, out migration. So there's there's a number of different uh, tagging programs, pit tags, and other tags that are utilized to tag small fish, so that so that we know that specific fish came from this system. The issues are so huge, from the top of the watershed all the way all the way down. You know, from from the this kind of smallest invertebrates to you know to the largest mammals. There are impacts left, right, and center. Everything really, really is connected. So if there are issues in the top of the watershed, um, we know through our teachings and stories and physical practices that, that there will be impacts in the bottom end of the watershed. I would say we're at a real turning point in how we deal with these issues. The Cowichan is the epitome of some of these large-scale issues like drought and climate change but it's also there are amazing people here so within our partnerships there's people with amazing backgrounds and expertise and resources so trying to fit all of those pieces together is, is really what it's all about to me the cool thing is that people are starting to get it and not only are people starting to get it you're kind of seeing more and more people getting out and just supporting and doing something about it, whether it's just as simple as bringing a shovel and, and helping with plantings or cleaning the river or what have you. That's the way of the future. People coming together and just looking and at, at what the issues are and deciding you know, the best step forward. 